Hi, friends. I'm Dick Dale, and I'm your guest host for tonight's show. I'm here in the village center of the Welk Resort. It's kind of the town square, and that seems appropriate because the theme of tonight's show is Lawrence Welk's hometown. Lawrence and the band played in so many different towns and cities over the years and made so many friends in each of them that they really do seem like hometowns. When I joined the Welk Band, my hometown was Algona, Iowa. Then for many years, it was in California. And today, it's in Tennessee. We'll more about that later. As Lawrence will soon tell you, the band moved out west from Chicago in 1951. I had just joined them on February 9th of that year in Clinton, Iowa, and I moved right along with them. I guess that's about the best move I ever made. Well, let's join Lawrence and the band right now as they head for the Wild West. Ah, uh, Texas. I can remember Lawrence telling me about his early days and hard luck times with his band in Texas. But when I joined the band years later, he was doing a lot better. It was a big change for me, not so much the traveling, because I'd been on the road since I was 16. But I had just left a band called the Six Fat Dutchman. And anyone who is into polka dancing will remember Harold Loffemucker and the Six Fat Dutchman. The wild part of the band was there weren't six of us, we weren't fat, and most of us weren't Dutch. Anyway, here's a song that was very popular at the time, the Red River Valley. And to sing it, two of the most popular singers who ever appeared on the Lawrence Welk Show, Guy and Roman. From this valley they say you are going We will miss your bright eyes and sweet smile For they say you are taking the sunshine That has brightened our path my memory serves me correctly, and it better because I just looked it up, the Red River forms the entire border between Oklahoma and Texas. Lawrence often toured through that area as most regional bands did. One of the reasons for the Welk Band's early popularity was of its make you want to dance rhythm. Not just for polkas, but waltzes and foxtrots too. Dancers loved it. Here's a sample of that sound, Dolores. Always did say Ken had great taste when it came to clothes. You know, Pittsburgh was a very important hometown in the Welk history because that's where champagne music got its name. Someone told Lawrence that his music reminded them of bubbles in champagne. So all the guys became champagne music makers and the girl's singer, Lois Best at that time, was the very first in a long line of champagne ladies. Probably the best known are Roberta Lynn, Alice Lawn, and our lovely champagne lady of today, Norma Zimmer. I had the pleasure of doing duets with both Roberta and Alice but it seemed that Jim Roberts always had the pleasant task of singing with Norma. Well, better get on with the history of Lawrence Welk's hometowns. Here he is to tell you about the next one. You know, I mentioned a while ago that I have a new hometown now, and it's a long way from Manhattan, and a longer way from California. In fact, it's in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. You might say I've moved from Hollywood to Dollywood, because that's where Dolly Parton has her theme park. 
But that's not the reason I'm living there. The fact is, Ava Barber and I are now partners in the Rainbow Music Theater in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. We do a country music show, and that's the reason for my attire. Like my belt buckle. <laughs> you know, it's nice to be retired just doing six shows a week from May till November. We're really proud of the show. And Ava, who was, was our country gal on the show for eight years, sings her country song just the best of anyone. And she's quite a comedian, too. <laughs> her husband, Roger Sullivan, plays drums and leads our house band. We have a resident comedian, Fred E. Smith, who has worked with Archie Campbell from the Hee Haw Show. In the last few years, he's worked with Boots Randolph down in Nashville. And I guess we're following in Lawrence's footsteps because we have a, a youth program of our own. Yeah, we have a six-year-old drummer, Zane Harkle Road, who really beats those drums playing Wipeout. And he's good. Well, I do everything but take tickets, and I do that too sometimes. I sing, MC, tell jokes, do imitation. We have a great time. And if you're ever in East Tennessee, come see us. We'd love to see you. It was kind of hard to leave our California home. My wife, Marguerite, and I and our four children had lived there for almost 40 years. But we're a close family, and we stay in touch, visit each other all the time. There are a lot of nice things in life, but nothing nicer than a loving family and some great kids. I think Lawrence feels the same way. In fact, I know he does. Let's listen as he introduces this next song. I was driving a rig out of Texas, full loaded and bound for Cheyenne. Just taking my pleasure so freely Because I'm a rambling man Well, I had quite a way with the lady Sweet Daddy was my middle name Till I got to a place they call Denver And I ain't never been quite the same Well, I've been to St. Louis and Abilene I've rambled through many a town I got me a woman in Denver, Lord, that's where I'm settling down. Well, I kissed her and swore that I loved her. I told her someday she'd be mine. Then I laughed all the way back to Texas to think she'd believe that old line. Well, now I got to pining for Denver. It's funny how things come to be. And as I slipped the ring on her finger, well, I knew that the laugh was on me. Well, I've been to St. Louis and Abilene, I've rambled through many a town. But I got me a woman in Denver, Lord, that's where I'm settling down. Now all you young fellas take warning, you single men run for your lives. Be careful and stay out of Denver Or else you end up with the wife Well, I've been to St. Louis and Abilene I've rambled through many a town But I got me a woman in Denver Lord, that's where I'm settling down But I got me a woman in Denver Lord, that's where I'm settling down Yeah, Denver's a great town, all right. I remember the first time I played there with Lawrence at Elitch Gardens. It was early summer, and they had just had a very bad hailstorm. It was so cold that people were dancing with their overcoats on. And everybody in the band looked kind of odd, too. Maybe, maybe well-fed? Well, that's because all of us were wearing our lightweight summer uniforms, and it was so cold that we had stuffed everything we could find underneath them. Two pairs of socks, long johns. Well, you get the idea. It was cold. In my many years on the show, I saw a lot of newcomers arrive and become part of the musical family. Sometimes it took a little while for them, the audience to warm up to them, but not in this next performer's case. It happened literally overnight after her very first show. Here's Lawrence to introduce her. Well, friends, I guess that's all for tonight. It's always a pleasure to visit with you and remember some of the great times we had together. So wherever you are, whatever your hometown is, here's some good wishes coming your way from Lawrence's new hometown in Escondido and mine in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. So long for now and drive careful. The roads are slippery. <laughs>